Another good crowd at the Motor Point Arena for Elite Ice Hockey League action in town on Saturday night was Todd Dutium and the Fife Flyers. Many of the fans had made their way down from Kakadu. Sheffield had Neil Clark in the lineup. Chad Huttle sat this one out, and in the first shift of the game, Clark wanted to make his mark and did so by challenging Matt Siddle of the Flyers. And these two big lads had a good scrap as well. Clark leading the way with the right. Siddle's going to come back with a few. Clark's going to go back with a few of his own. Some good quick punches there from Neil Clark. Big uppercut. Siddle's a big lad. Drags Clark to the ground. And Siddle of the Flyers and Clark of the Steelers make their way to the penalty box. A scoreless first period it was. It got a little uh, fractious at times. Lee Esdes was involved in a little bit of pushing and shoving. The Flyers jump on him. Steelers come to the rescue. Oh, good fun. Into the second period and Ryan Finnerty closed the door of the Steelers dressing room between periods. He wanted more from his team. He got more inside 26 seconds. Laguiz backhand. Ramsey turns on a sixpence. He shoots. He scores. The Sheffield Steelers led by a goal to A lovely finish from Mike Ramsey. Fife will be disappointed. The pass from Laguiz found Ramsey just wide open in front. Right off the face-off, the Sheffield Steelers were to double their advantage. Look at the persistence of player coach Ryan Finnerty. He intercepts. And then watch Luke Fulgham drive the net and Fulgham with a lovely finish. 17 seconds between goals. Ramsey the first, Fulgham the second. The Sheffield Steelers led by two. Again, you can see inch-perfect pass from Ryan Finnerty. And Luke Fulgham shoots and scores. The Sheffield Steelers in complete control at this point. You'll see good work coming up from uh, Trudel, and his shot will be uh, deflected home from Ramsey, who is at the back door. Great play from Trudel to spot Ramsey, just sneaking in at the back. You'll see it better from this reverse angle. Keep your eye left of your screen. There's Ramsey, just sneaking in. He shoots, he scores the Sheffield Steelers, led by three at the end of the second period. They were at a fourth as well. And what a pickup Francis Trudell has been for the Sheffield Steelers. He scored that overtime winner last week. He got another one here against the Five Flyers. Leguie involved in all kind of brilliance, and he just sees Trudell, who sneaked in himself, and he goes forehand, backhand shelf, and the Sheffield Steelers led by four. Again, lovely finish from Trudell. 4 0, game over, all over. Might as well start packing your bags. Or so we thought. A mad five minutes for the Sheffield Steelers. Let the five flies back into this one once. DeCaro has it, he drops it, he has it. He's dropped it and it's 4-1 at 51-40. Nothing to worry about that, 4-1. Still happy days. Or was it? Hartmanus walks around Hayward, shoots, he scores. 53-58, 4-2. Still nothing really to worry about though, is it? It's the Steelers and the five flies, it's 4-2. There's only six minutes left. Ooh, he got a little bit nervous. Look at the work here from Hamilton. He shoots one. De Caro shoots across his crease. And he bounces in off his pads. 4-3 with only four minutes and 12 seconds left. Another one that Big John will want back. 4-3 to Sheffield. Steelers are in a bit of trouble. Flyers pull their goalie. Steelers try to score into the empty net. Not once, not twice. Three times a scramble. And then a penalty is seen by the referee. And the Sheffield Steelers will go on the power play. Right in front of the goal. Zamak is back for the Five Flyers. But the Sheffield Steelers on the power play in the dying seconds. And you'll see Big Colt King is all alone in front. He gets a tip. That was to be the final goal with just three seconds remaining. King's goal made it. Sheffield Steelers five. The Five Flyers three. You'll see this tip again through the five hole. So overall, a good night for the Sheffield Steelers. A little more nervous than uh, we would have all wanted it to have been. And that's a point I put to head coach Ryan Finnerty. Good to get the two points, Ryan. It looked very comfortable and, uh, until the final few minutes. Yeah, I mean, they, uh, I think we controlled most part of the game and, and you know, may have, may have let off the gas there. We, we were, we were uh, cycling well on their end and then they came back and, you know, scored a few goals. I'm sure Johnny would have liked to have back. But, you know, at the end of the day, he's, uh, he's bailed us out more times than not. So... 
we uh, we just shrugged it off and, and just tightened it up there for the last two minutes and, and closed it out. Let's go back to the start of the game. You changed the lineup briefly. You brought Young Haywood in, sat Huddle out and, and played Clark. You, you're thinking behind that and, and now after the game, how you felt that went? Yeah, I thought Haywood played great. You know, I think he got more and more ice time. He made some good plays out there. Um, you know, I think he's going to be a good player uh, and one we, we definitely want to keep our eye on. Um, you know, to get him that ice time, you, to, just to see him in a game-like situation and instead of a, a shift here and there was, was important for me because uh, I, I think, you know, there's definitely potential in, in, uh, in Woody. So, um, you know, we wanted to get him some ice time. Also getting Neil Clark back in the lineup, you know, he goes out and fights for a shift and, you know, it kind of shows the character of what he's all about. And, and you know, he, he's that kind of player and he needs to be that kind of player for us. And, you know, all the credit in the world going out and doing that. And, um, you know, like I said, he, he played well. I thought he worked worked pretty hard too. So, uh, you know, we'll keep the, the lineup. will stay the same tomorrow. And like I said, we'll uh, go into Fife with, you know, obviously a, a, a better mentality, I think, than what we ended with. I think uh, I think that'll be good. You know, the, the, what they did there in the last bit will maybe – Maybe make us realize that they're not a walkover team, and you just can't come up and put your sticks in. You got You got to show up, and you got to bring it. So, I think uh, you know. I think the boys were were kind of lucky to get. We're lucky to get out of that game without any any damage done, and uh, you know we'll refocus and uh, and hopefully come back with another two points tomorrow. Okay, just talk us through. You know, tomorrow it, it is different up in five, isn't it? It's a different rink, a different atmosphere. Um, but I would uh, you have to give the, the Steel Dogs a bit of credit there as well for letting him come for the whole weekend. Absolutely. I mean, you know, they got a weekend off here, and, uh, and I knew that, so I, I put the call in to see if we can get him up for a week of practice. And, and uh, you know, the, he's been great. He's, he's showed up at practice. He, he, you know, he's committed to learning. Um, you know, I think he's definitely a, a kid that, that we need to, to keep an eye on and to get him game situation. There's nothing better than that. And that, we felt that this was a good weekend for him to come up um, and, and play. And obviously, you know, Chad Huddle had to make a bit of room for him, but he, uh, you know, I'm, all, I'm talking to Stevenson all the time to help him out and, and kind of mentor him. And, he, you know, he, he's willing to learn. He wants to learn. And that, that's all you can ask for. And I thought he played pretty good tonight. I know your answer will be it's all about what the Sheffield Steelers do, but Nottingham go and drop a point to <coughs> at home to, to Coventry. That's a big result for the Blaze and a big result for us as well. Yeah, anytime that, uh, you know, anytime the, the teams that you're chasing drop a point and you're getting two, it, 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 it's great. So, um, you know, we don't pay too much attention to it because, like I said, we're, we want to be in a situation where teams are relying on us to, to drop points. We, we like to worry about what we're doing in our own building here. So, um, But, you know, when you, when you hear the result like that, yeah, obviously it, it's great. It, it only helps you out when, when you're chasing teams ahead of you.